wearing a two one two option. So let's get our win. And I, I mean, I know y'all aren't the kind. You got swagger about you, and you definitely got confidence. We want you to call a roll. We want people to know you're here. But what win do we have that you want to go tell the world about? Okay? Let's get this win, and I don't mind you going to tell somebody about a win tonight. But they would love to beat you and go tell somebody about me in Oxford. Be the top dog in the game. Win your position. Okay? Let's get our student section involved. You're a fun team to watch. All right? Any questions? Perfect. All right? Here we go. Touch the floor. The Chargers are seeking revenge at their home court after a loss to the Jaguars just a year prior. Crowd got hype, you know, bench got hype. Kind of gave us some more momentum, keep scoring, get the stop on D. I think we got to stop the next play down. Uh, yeah, we play really fast. Um, Coach Law always says, like, once we get the rebound, try and get it out within like three seconds. We all want to win, we got, we got the drive to win. They want to make this the longest 16 minutes of their year right now. Okay? We're not letting up. You're blocking out like oh, champs. Yep, it's crazy. Unbelievable. Better than any team that I've ever had in 30 years. Yep. Starting the second half, the Chargers failed to execute as well as they did in the first half. Oh, I think we just like weren't as aggressive as we should have been. We should have just came out and acted like we were down by like 20 and just keep trying to score, keep trying to run the score. Yeah, they got in it. I feel like we had to win the game two times, you know. You, you know, good teams will make a run at you, so we knew what was coming the second half. allowing the Jaguars to tie up the game and send it to overtime. I mean, you got to put the first, the other 32 minutes is behind you. And because uh, I saw some body language where, like, we're having to go into overtime. We lost a 15-point lead. And, you know, when you think about that, uh, it can demoralize you. It can take energy out of you. It can deflate you. The Jaguars took charge first and gained the lead causing the fate of the game to be in the hands of star player DJ Davis. So, he got his board, of course, we all stood around. He drew up the play, the exact play, uh, told Adam he had to set a good screen. Jake made a good pass, got the ball, and uh, went dribble. Saw the big down, so I couldn't drive, just pulled up and it went in. But it was, it was exciting, um, everybody, you know, on the court, crowd, you know, having Coach Baldwin having to stop the students from coming on the court was pretty cool. Um, I think just your yeah, dog pile and everything. But I knew if DJ was going to get the ball, then it was wraps. We were going to win. And right when he shot it, I was kind of at the sideline. I knew it was going in, so I was already uh, running up the sideline trying to go tackle him. The newest addition of the Oxford basketball team is freshman transfer from crosstown rival Lafayette High School, Adam Tyson. Yeah, I mean, we've always had guards on our team and shooters. Um, and last year, really, that like one thing we were missing was that big guy or guy that can test shots at the rim and just like get rebounds. Um, so he's definitely just brought more length to the team. Well, his length, just being 6'7", his wingspan, altering shots if he's not blocking shots. He, he's played enough 
basketball, AAU basketball the, against some of the top talent in the nation. Um, that he handled himself in pressure situations, uh, crunch time, overtime. If we can we can stretch the floor out now. He can play out the dribble, play out the bounce. Not many bigs in Mississippi can play with him and guard him. I can you know dive him the ball and knowing that he gonna score in about two dribbles. When well, Oxford plays, they tell you where the places to be, where you need to be, and where you can go and make more better plays to figure out to win the game. That's what he's doing a great job of handling himself, being himself and understanding uh, what Coach Reed and I want out of him for our team. I mean, we, he plays varsity with this. So we've, even when he's a freshman, I feel like he's in my grade. So yeah, we've definitely gotten really close in a short period of time. I mean, he's a first class dude, championship guy, puts other people first. So what people don't know, Adam like my cousin. Uh, we related, so I've been knowing Adam for a while. I've been knowing DJ since like five, five years. Almost, so we've been pretty cool. We've been tight like that. Um, that's my guy. He, you know, funny, chill. Uh, we do a lot of things together. We hoop, you know, hoop together. Uh, he's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. And we never lost the connection or nothing. We always kept in touch with each other. Everything else. His dad was already talking to my mom and dad about transferring, talking to me about it. Uh, of course, me and him were talking about it. So, you know, I hopefully I helped him, you know, go ahead and make that decision and come on over. Y'all here, y'all here with Adam Tyson, and I'm gonna ask everybody, uh, best NBA player, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. I'm here with Jay Burke, me, Michael Jordan, best NBA right now and in the history of the game, LeBron James. LeBron, the best NBA player of all time is Russell Westbrook. <laughs> bro, I got LeBron, bro. LeBron, a with me. MJ. All these persons, all they, all they, all of them wrong. Jason Tatum is the goat. Hey, how you feeling about tonight? Hey, we finna turn up tonight, bro. We gonna do what we gotta do and handle business, man. That's all we gotta do. I'm totally responsible for you. I'm totally responsible for the product you, that Coach and I are putting out there. I'm totally responsible for how you play. Totally. Okay? The only thing that has changed tonight is the scenery. You've been beating them at South Rec. You've been beating them at Turner Center. You've been beating them at the Park Commission. You've been beating them at Price Hill. And you fixed to beat them on their home court that Coach and I have beat them more here than anywhere on their own home court. We have made this our home court. The city has come to the county to beat the county in the city because the county schools are in the city. So the city fans did not have to leave the city to watch the city win. City on three. One, two, three. City. Oh, hoops. One, two, three. Oh, hoops. at the rim with contact, I and mean, that's the best shot in basketball, layup. The second best would be a free throw. We got both of those in the first half. 
it kind of took us a while to get started. I think everybody just settled in, all the energy that was in the building, everybody was hyped, had to get the, the jitters out. You need to view, you need to think every rebound is your rebound. If I got two Oxford guys going for it, that's fine. That 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 deficit doesn't get any, they don't get any closer to you. Okay? We're not dealing with that. All right? The Chargers started the game out slow and failed to pull ahead. Uh, I think we definitely wanted to pull away quicker than we did. Uh, there's always just gonna be like butterflies and no matter how good one another team is, it's always going to be close just because how many fans are there, the adrenaline and stuff like that. So, But in the second half, the Chargers began to pull ahead and gain a good lead. Try to get him going, knowing that he came from the Fed, letting him make that statement that, that I moved to Oxford for a reason. 